Good day everyone. In this video lesson, we will discuss about the present value of deferred annuity. So in the previous video lesson, na diniskus natin doon how to find the period of deferral kasi yun ay gagamitin natin sa video lesson na to. So da sana na panood niyo muna how to find the period of deferral bago niyo pan mapanood itong present how to find the present value of deferred annuity. Okay, so using the formula of P is equal to R times 1 minus 1 plus I raised to negative K plus N over I minus R times 1 minus 1 plus I raised to negative K over I. So yung K dyan, yun, yan yung period of deferral natin. So yan yung diniscuss sa video lesson bago ito, no? And then, kunin rin natin yung value ng n. So, n is equal to m times t and i is equal to r over m. The other uh, uh, r is the regular payment. i is the interest rate per period. n is the number of payments. And k is the number of conversion periods in the deferral. Okay? So, for example, number 1. On his 40th birthday, Mr. Ramos decided to buy a pension plan for himself. These plans will allow him to claim 10,000 quarterly for 5 years, starting 3 months after his 60th birthday. So, si Mr. Ramos nag-decide na bumili ng pension plan na kung saan ay makakuha siya ng 10,000 quarterly sa loob ng 5 taon. Pagkatapos, no, pagkatapos nung 60th birthday niya, 3 months after nung 60th birthday niya. So, ibig sabihin, may, uh, 60 minus 40, meron 20 taon, uh, 20 years, no, bago siya makapag, uh, makakuha nung 10,000, makapag-claim ng 10,000. What one-time payment should he make on his 40th birthday to pay off his pension plan? So, magkano kayo yung pension plan na yon na kung saan, yun yan, sabi kayo na sa problem na after yung 60th birthday niya, 5 years after the 60th birthday niya, makaka-receive siya or makaka-claim siya ng 10,000 quarterly. With, uh, if the interest rate is 8% compounded quarterly. So, kailangan malinaw rin kasi sa inyo yung problem. So, yung given... The regular payment is 10,000. So yan yung uh, ibabayad kay Mr. Ramos, no? E quarterly, no? Every quarter. And M is 4 since quarterly nga. And the rate is 8%, that is equal to 0 0.08. The term is 5 years. And then yung I natin or the interest rate is 0 0.08 over 4. Div uh, 0 0.08 divide 4 that is 0 0.02 and yung n natin m times t that is 4 times 5 is equal to 20 ngayon paano natin kunin yung period of deferral so paano kunin yung period of deferral so sabi class quarterly ang pagbabayad kay Mr. Ramos ng 10,000 so kung quarterly yan ang pagbabayad kay Mr. Ramos so ibig sabihin sa isang taon merong apat na beses no? 4 times no so, since uh, makaka-claim lang siya ng money na yon after 60th birthday niya pa, 3 months after 60th birthday niya, kung ito yung year no, na pang 60th birthday niya, so, after 3 months pa, no? After 3 months. No? 3 months after pala ng 60th birthday niya, siya makaklaim ng 10,000. Ang tanong, ilan yung period of deferral? So, ilan yung periods na hindi siya nakapag-claim. Okay? Na hindi mo na siya nag, uh, nabigyan ng pera. So, bago yung 60th birthday niya. Kung sa isang taon, merong apat. Okay? Merong apat, no? Kasi quarterly. So, four times. So, 60 minus uh, 40, that is 20 years. So, ibig sabihin, 20 years na wala muna siyang makukuhang uh, 10,000. E sa isang taon, merong apat since quarterly. So, 20 times 4. Therefore, yung period of deferral niya is 80. Okay? So, kailangan uh, tama yung pagkuha niyo ng period of deferral. 
And then using the formula para makuha natin yung present value nitong deferred annuity. So we can use this formula. Medyo mahaba yung formula na to. So we can use a scientific calculator for this. Alright? So gamit tayo ng scientific calculator dyan. Okay, so gamit yung scientific calculator, no? So, ang gagawin lang natin, uh, input lang natin lahat ng given values dito sa formula na to. Okay? So, gamit yung scientific calculator, mas maganda, i-click nyo yung muna yung fraction bar. So, click nyo muna yung fraction bar and then, ito yung uh, arrow papuntang left. Then, click, uh, type nyo yung regular payment natin. Sige. Type nyo lahat ng yan sa calculator natin. So, 10,000. So, 10,000. Then, sa taas, we have 1 minus 1. Pwede nyo nang i-add tong 1 plus 0.02. Pwede nyo nang i-add yan. 1.02. Then, yung exponent natin. And that is... So, yung 80 plus 20, that is negative 100. Pwede nyo na rin i-add yan. Over 0 0.02. And then, pindutin nyo lang ito. Minus. Then, yung ano ulit? Fraction bar. Then, balik ulit kayo dito para mat matype nyo yung 10,000. 10,000 and then, like, sa numerator natin, 1 minus 1.02 tapos yung exponent natin so that is negative 80 then sa baba that is 0 0.02 and then click lang natin yung equal sign so the answer is 33,538.38 so check natin dito so the answer is 33,538 Point thirty-eight. So, anong ibig sabihin yan? So, ibig sabihin, uh, the present value of this monthly pension, so, yung maging present value ng monthly pension ni Mr. Ramos is 33,538.38. Okay. Another example. A credit card company offers a deferred payment option for the purchase of any appliance. So, Rose plans to buy a smart television set with monthly payment of 4000 for 2 years. So, the payment will start at the end of 3 months. So, ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo kanina, no? Uh, deferred annuity. So, may certain period na hindi ka muna magbabayad. So, how much is the cost price of the TV set if the interest rate is 10% compounded monthly? So, kagaya ng ginawa natin kanina, first, identify the given. So, may regular payment na 4,000 and that is compounded monthly. Kaya yung M natin is 12. Yung rate natin is 10%, it's equal to 0 0.1 and the term is 2 years. Yung I natin, that's R over M, or 0 0.1 divide 12. Uh, hindi ko na, hindi na natin i-ano, no? I-express pa yung 0 0.1 divide 12. Kasi masyado mahaba yung sagot. So, kapag ganun class, as is na lang naka-fraction. Para yung sagot natin, hindi nalalayo dun sa, uh, fi yung final answer natin, hindi nalalayo dun sa exact na sagot. Okay, kasi kung uh, kukunin lang natin yung 2 decimal nito, kasi yung check ha, the value of 0 0.1, 0 0.1 uh, divided, or ito na yung pang fraction natin. 12, the answer is, ay, 0 0.1 divided 12, so the answer is, so masyado mahaba yan. Pag pinindot natin yung is, Okay, yung pang decimal, masyado siyang mahaba. 0 0.83333. Although, repeating na yung uh, 3, pero mas okay na ganito, na ganito pa rin yung gawin nyo. As is na lang. Okay? So, N is 24 since 12 times 2 is 24. And then, uh, yung K naman yung kukunin natin. 
since uh, sa loob ng dalawang taon, sa loob ng dalawang taon class, and then monthly ba ang pagbabayad? Yes, monthly yung pagbabayad. So, ibig sabihin kung uh, sa loob ng dalawang taon, merong 24 months. Okay? Pero magbabayad siya, mag-start siya ng payment niya at the end of 3 months. So, dito at the end of 3 months. Okay? So, sa loob ng isang taon, merong 12 months, right? So, magbabayad siya at the end of 3 months. So, ilan yung, ano yung, ilan yung period of deferral niya? So, kung bibilaan natin, that is 2, 1, 2. Dalawang buwan na hindi siya nagbayad muna. And K is equal to 2. So, gamit yung formula natin. So, we can substitute the given value. Okay? So, using the scientific calculator, we can check your our answer. That is 400. Okay? So, ang ginagawa ko muna, ilalagay ko muna yung fraction var. And then, balik ako doon sa left side. Then, type ko yung 4,000. And then, 1 minus. Then, 1 plus. So, click ko ulit yung fraction var. Kasi nga hindi natin kinuha, in-express yung, kinuha yung sagot. So, as is naka-fraction yan. 0.1, divide 12, then close parenthesis, and then yung pang-exponent natin, that is 2 plus 24 is 26. So, negative 26 na. And then, baba tayo, fraction bar again, that is 0.1, divide 12, so, and then, minus, fraction bar again, then balik ka para matype mo yung 4,000 then sa taas we have 1 minus that is 1 plus yung fraction bar na 0.1 divided by 12 yung close parenthesis, yung exponent natin that is negative 24 So, the answer, and then, meron pa pala, sa baba, yung fraction bar na 0.1 divide 12. Okay, so, check natin yung sagot natin. So, the answer is, okay, baka mukhang kulang to. Check natin, ha. 4,000. Negative 26. Okay, but 24. Okay, dapat 2 lang. Okay, so may... Dapat dito 2 lang pala. Okay, dapat 2. 24 yung nalagay ko. Since ang value ng k natin is 2, so dapat 2 lang. Then, click equal. So, the answer is 85,256. Check natin. So, 85,256.56. So, ibig sabihin, the present value of this monthly, uh, yung set, no? So, yung set ay uh, yung cash price pala, no? Nung set, nung TV set is 85,256.56. Okay, another example. Okay, another example. Okay, another example, Mr. Kihano decided to sell their farm and to deposit the fund in a bank. After computing the interest, they learned that they may be withdraw for $180,000 yearly for 8 years, starting at the end of 6 years when it is time for him to retire. How much is the fund deposited if the interest rate is 5% converted annually? So, again, Mr. Kihana decided to sell their farm and to deposit the fund in a bank. After computing the interest, they learned that they may be withdraw for $180,000 yearly for 8 years, starting at the end of 6 years when it is time for him to retire. How much is the fund deposited if the interest rate is 5% converted annually? So, first... Uh, what are the given? So, the regular payment is 480,000. And then, uh, it is converted annually. So, therefore, M is equal to 1. And the rate is 0.05, kasi 5%. And after that, uh, the term is 8 years. And I is equal to R over M. So, 0.05 divide 1, still 0.05. 
And then yung n natin is m times t, so that is uh, 1 times 8, the answer is 8. So, paano natin kukunin yung period of deferral? So, year 1, so sa loob ng 8 taon, no, sa loob ng 8 taon, uh, for 8 years, start, pero that is, the term is 8 years. And then, makaka-withdraw siya, start ng at the end of 6 years. At the end of 6 years. So, ilan yung period of deferral bago siya makapag-withdraw? Since annually yan. So, pag bibilangin natin, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so limang taon. Therefore, K is equal to 5. So, using the, cal uh, using the formula and using your scientific calculator class, you can use your scientific calculator. So, the answer is, uh, okay, you can check using your calculator. The answer is 2,430,000. 766.23 So, ibig sabihin, the present value of this payment is what? 2 million So, that is the present value of these withdrawals. So, again, class, babaguhin lang natin yung nakalagay dyan, no? Gawin natin, ne dapat negative 2 lang yung nandyan. Okay, so, dapat negative 2 lang, okay? Kasi yung 24, that is the value of N. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button. Para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.